teacher Ronnie Diabire, your grade 5 English teacher. Now, everybody say, good morning, teacher Nick. It's nice to see you today. Everybody say, all right, very good. Now, please remain standing for our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. All right, so thank you. You may now take your seat. All right, this time I request the group reporters to please be ready for the checking of attendance. Now, let us start with group one. Yes, Samantha? Very good, you are all present. How about group two? Good job! You are all present as well. How about group three? Excellent! Well, I am very glad, great front learners, that you are all present today. Okay, great front learners, before anything else, I want you to keep all your things and put it inside your bag. I just want to remind you about our classroom rules that you are not allowed to talk unless you are asked to talk or unless you are recognized to talk. If you want to ask something or if you want to say Anything, you just have to raise your hand. You have to pay attention to your teacher and you have to listen attentively. I hope it's all clear to you, grade 5 learners, okay? Now, grade 5 learners, are you all set? Very good. Now, since you are all set already, let us have first a short recap about our topic yesterday. Anybody from the class who can still remember what did we discuss yesterday? What was it all about? Anybody from the class? Yes, Jericho. What was it? Say it in a complete sentence. Our topic yesterday was all about... Say it again. All right. Very good. Our topic yesterday was all about subject-verb agreement. Next question. How to make the subject and the verb agree with each other? What are the simple steps to follow? Yes, Trisha. What is the first step? Very good. First step is to identify the subject first. What's the second step? For you to make the subject and the verb agree with each other. What's the second step? Trisha said that we have to identify first the subject and then what's the next step? Peter, what is the next step? Okay, the next step is to decide if the subject is singular or plural, okay? And then what is the last step? Anybody from the class? Yes, Harold? What is the last step? All right, very good, Harold. The last step is to decide which verb form will match with the subject. Okay, now let's focus on the sentences posted on the board. Let's go back to the question. The question is how to make the subject and the verb agree with each other. The first step is to identify the subject. And in this sentence, Jack enjoys playing golf every day. Our subject is, yes, henna. Very good. Our subject is Jack. Next step is to Decide if the subject is singular or plural. The great for learners, is our subject singular or plural? Anybody from the class? Christine, thank you. Very good. Our subject here is singular. The third step is to decide which verb form will match with that subject. So in this sentence, our subject is singular. That is why we have to take the S form of the verb so that the subject and the verb will agree with each other. So the sentence is, Jack enjoys playing golf every Sunday. Again, our subject is singular, our verb is enjoy, so we have to put S at the end of the verb so that the subject and the verb will agree with each other. I hope everything is clear. Okay, now let's move on to sentence number two. The boys watched the movie. Anybody from the class? Let us identify first the subject in the sentence. Harold again. Our subject in this sentence is the boys. Okay. Second step, decide if the subject is singular or plural. Is our subject singular or plural in this subject? All right. Very good. Our subject in this 
particular sentence is plural. That is why we have to take the base form of the verb in order to what? Okay, so that the subject and the verb will agree with each other. The voice plus the base form of the verb, okay? So the sentence is, the boys watch the movie. Okay, so is sentence number one correct? Yes, very good. This sentence is correct. And how about sentence number two? Is this correct? Very good. Sentence number two is also correct because both sentences were able to follow the rules and how to make the subject and the verb agree with each other. Remember, subject-verb agreement portrays a particular rules in terms of agreement between the subject and the verb. The subject and verb of the sentence must agree in number. If the subject is plural, then the verb must be in its simple form. If the subject is singular, then the verb must be in its S form. Always remember, the subject must always agree with a verb that's agreement. Remember, in the present tense, nouns and verbs form plurals in opposite ways. Nouns add an S to the singular form. Verbs remove the S from the singular form. It is now time to move on to our next topic.